Finding the least common multiple of two numbers basically is finding the smallest multiple two or more factors have in common. So it's kind of the opposite of GCF, but you're going to use the GCF to help you find the LCM. So finding the GCF use the prime factorization. Finding the LCM is going to use the GCF. So it's just an extenuation of the factor tree method. So we're going to begin finding the least common multiple between 24 and 28 using the factor tree method. So to find the prime factorization of 24, that simply means that you are going to decompose 24. It is a prime number that can be decomposed. And so we're going to break it down into its prime factors first of all. So 24. Two factors that can make 24. You can pick any two you want, but I'm going to pick 3 and 8 to make 24. So 3 times 8 makes 24. And then between the 3 and the 8, I have to decide which one is prime, which one is composite. Well, 3 is prime, so I'm just going to circle it. And 8 is composite because 8 can be made using 2 and 4, not just 1 and 8. So I'm going to break down the 8. And then I'm going to use 2 times 4 to make 8. From here, I decide if the factors are prime or composite, meaning if they need to be circled or decomposed further. 2 is prime, so I'm going to circle it. And remember, 2 is the only even prime number. There is no other even number that is prime besides 2. 8 can, I mean, 4 can be broken down. It can be decomposed because it has more than just 1 in itself as factors. It also has a 2 as a factor. So I'm going to use 2 times 2 to break down 4. And then 2 is the only even prime number, so 2 is going to get circled. So right now the prime factorization for 24, and I'm going to write my bases in order from least to greatest, and the smallest base I have circled is a 2. So I'm going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. I have 4 circles. I should be multiplying 4 numbers. 28, I'm going to do the same way. So 28 is composite. I'm going to break it down. And the way I can break down 28, or the two factors that make 28 other than 1 and 28, are 4 and 7. So I'm going to multiply 4 times 7. And then I'm going to decide from here which factor is prime, which is composite, or if both prime or both composite. Well, 4 can actually be broken down. It can be decomposed because it has more than two factors. It has 1 and 4 as factors and 2 and 2. So I'm going to use 2 times 2 to break down 4. So 2 times 2 makes 4. And 2 is the only even prime number. So the 2 is going to get circled because it can't be decomposed. It only has exactly two factors. And then 7. Hmm, think about that. 7 can only be made using 1 times 7, so it's prime, so I'm just going to circle it. It can't be broken down. So the prime factorization for 28 is basically 2 times 2 times 7. So if I use only prime numbers to make 28, those prime numbers that I will multiply will be 2 times 2 times 7. So 2 times 2 times 7 is the prime factorization of 28. Now, I'm going to take this and I color code it so that I can do like I did with GCF. And I'm going to draw my circles. So I'm going to draw a green circle for 24 since I use green. And part in my circle, but I'm not the best artist. And then I'm going to use a blue circle to overlap the green one to show, to put my factors, prime factors for 28. Well, for 24, I have 2, 2, 2, and 3. So I'm going to put 2, 2, 2, and 3 in the green side of the circle. And on the blue side of the circle, I'm going to put 2, 2, and 7. And then I'm going to find out what's in common. So I'm basically trying to find the GCF between the two right now. So whatever's in green that has a match in the blue, I'm going to cross it out and put it in the middle portion of the circle to show that it's in common. So I have a green 2 and a blue 2. That's a 2 in common. A green 2 and a blue 2. That's a 2 in common. 
And I have a green two, but no more green blue twos. I have a green three, but no blue threes. So those numbers are not in common. So these numbers that are in common get multiplied together. Two times two is four. This four would be my greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor is four. I'm going to take that four and I'm going to multiply it with all of the numbers that are not crossed out, that did not, were not in common. So the, this two was not in common with anything over here in the blue circle. So I'm going to write it. This three was not in common with anything over in the blue circle. So I'm going to write it. And then this seven didn't have anything in common with it in the green circle. So I'm going to write it. And now to find my LCM, I'm going to multiply all those numbers together to get my LCM. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 times 7 will give me 168. So my LCM for 24 and 28 would be 168.